That was uh, Athena Sykes' Let's Do This from Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, which is not included on the Ace Attorney trilogy. That's Ace Attorney 5. 1 through 3 are on this trilogy. But yeah, it, was, it went on sale. And last week I even told myself, like, oh, I want to stream the original Ace Attorney trilogy at some point. So next time it goes on sale, I'll pick it up. And it was on sale for 10 bucks, And I had I had uh, points and eShop credit left. So I got it for like $6. So it was, it was really nice. I've played all these games to death. I love the Ace Attorney trilogy. Um, I have streamed the Great Ace Attorney 1 and 2 in the past, which is funny because it's like the beginning of the timeline, technically. So at some point, I'll stream uh, these three. I'm thinking of streaming one fairly soon, just because one is not a long game to get through. The, in fact, most of the earlier Ace Attorney games are not very long. They're like 20 to 30 hours at most. And then you have Spirit of Justice, which is like a 60-hour game, and it's just like, oh god, is this torture? It's not, it's not torture, it's just like you're ready for it to end by the end of it. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. Uh, Final Bar Line got its next two updates, so we're going to be playing that right now. This is part 19, and there will be two more parts. I thought this was going to be the longest game that I've ever streamed, and no, it isn't. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom beat it by one stream. 20, 22 parts of Tears of the Kingdom. And there'll be 21 parts of... a. Uh, Final bar line when I'm done. I gotta say, this game, man, it's... I haven't touched it since the last time I streamed it, but it's it's still so good. Like, just thinking about playing it makes me like, mmm, this game makes me happy. It's a fun rhythm game. Just so good. Just so good. And I mean, you get so much DLC for the price you pay for it. DLC and music stages, Romancing Saga 2, 3, and Reuniverse songs. So that's Saga Pack 3. That's seven songs. Yeah. And five, Octopath Traveler songs, uh, including Daughter of the Dark God, which is the final boss theme, which a lot of people who play that game did not hear. So a lot of people didn't bother. So, uh, before I jump into those, I just want to point out my team right now is just, just random characters. Characters that I personally like. Because it doesn't matter what my team is anymore. It absolutely does not. Because between the last stream of this and now... I've officially... Finished the game. Every feat has been achieved. Nothing left. I even did the get 9.8 million points of the Supreme Score. I did it on the... Um, I did it on the... Oberon theme from Final Fantasy XIV. What what something wakes me. But yeah, that's uh that's a solid solid one honey right there. So yeah, I've uh I I've hit the peak. I've hit the peak of, of Final Bar Line. In fact, uh even looking at my card here. My card shows 100 out of 100, 5 stars completion. Very, very cool that I managed to achieve that. Uh, technically, the completion's not done. If you get a big star on all of the, uh, on all of the uh, records in that previous menu, they become like platinum, silver, rainbow stars. I don't think I want to bother with that, because at this point, it's just a lot of grinding for nothing. There's no feats to achieve, it's just doing specific things until you get a big star on them. So, I think in terms of what I've achieved here, I'm happy with it. I've put 122 hours into this game, so I'm ready to finish up the DLC and then leave. <laughs> but yeah, DLC. Oh, there it is, What Angel Wakes Me. That's the song, yeah, there we go. Supreme score of 9.847775. Never doing anything better than that. Okay, since the Octopath Traveler pack came out first three weeks ago, we'll start with this. I have not played Octopath Traveler. Uh, I've played the demo of it. And I did a voice in Octopath Traveler Machine Abridged for the one season that existed. 
way back when, when that came out. But, uh, sadly, that is the end of my involvement with it. I just never got around to it, and I heard the end of the game is so pointlessly difficult and grindy that it's just, like, not worth playing. I've heard Octopath Traveler 2 fixes that, but also, I'm just not interested in Octopath Traveler 2. If it, if Bravely Default 2 hadn't been such an upset as well, I would be, like, maybe a bit more into it, but I just want to play Bravely Default and Bravely Second again, honestly. Anyway, I'm using EXP items just to get extra levels for these characters. It doesn't matter. I don't care about their levels. There's nothing left to achieve in this game. I'm just doing this for fun at this point. And to get all the DLC songs cleared. at the end. It's a good uh, variation there. tricky at the end. It was pretty good, though. Good song, too. Yeah, again, Octopath Traveler, like, I enjoyed the demo. I just never really, like, had the time to put it, because that game came out, like, right around when I started my full-time job. So I just didn't have time to put into it. Actually, it's kind of weird to think about, like, when I was involved with the, with that Machina Bridge. I keep thinking it was, like, early 2019. I'm like, no, it wasn't. No, it was. I keep thinking it was 2018, but that was too early. Sorry, head hurts and the toastiness keeps coming back briefly and going away. Have you taken medicine? Need some soup. Soup and, soup and, uh, ginger ale. You got too much homework to do? Oh. Uh... I'm sorry. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, Octopath. Not really a game I'm super familiar with that side of uh, the first first chapter or two of everyone's story.
Octopath Traveler was also the first HD 2D game, which uh, kicked off that whole trend that's been going strong with Square Enix lately. Two Octopath games, Triangle Strategy, Live Alive. Live Alive remake was in HD 2D. Uh, that one, the one scene in Final Fantasy VI is apparently in HD 2D, and then we're also getting the Dragon Quest III remake in HD 2D. And apparently 1 and 2 will be coming with it at some point, so that's good. I have long surmises, but I think the I think the end game for uh, HD 2D is going to be a Chrono Trigger remake because they've very very purposely been holding off re-releasing that game on any modern console. It's funny, like, I haven't played this game, but, like, all three of the songs I've played so far are songs I, I know because the demo had all these in it. We have Terranigma, please. That's also something I would like to see Square do more with this. Bring bring more games that didn't come out over here. Terranigma would be good. There was another one, too. Did they do God, G-O-D, whatever that game was called? That, oh, that only just got a fan translation a few years ago. Nope, that was Infinity. Never mind. Mezameyo to Yobu Koe ga Kiko. There's another growth egg. Growth, an egg. This this is the only song of the five I have not heard before, because again, just, just haven't heard it. <laughs>
the wall there. Still got a triple S though. Nice. My hands were a little crampy there, so I couldn't hit. I, I missed that one double slide completely. Alright, this is the final boss theme of the game, when you get all eight characters together and fight it, and this theme goes hard. Slide whistle noises? Yeah, sure. You can do one of those. Okay, this song is amazing. Really good. Not the longest final boss theme, but it is very, uh, very tense and properly portrays the situation. And that's the Octopath, uh, the Octopath pack, the Octopath. Uh, we have the next pack, which is all Saga music. So that would actually be at the top of the other thing, because it's the first one. Yeah, here we go. So there's one down there, and then the rest are up here. So we got three songs from Romancing Saga 2, three songs from Romancing Saga 3, and then one from Saga... What is this? Romancing Saga Reuniverse, which I don't know what that is. But I know what Romancing Saga 1 and 2, or 1 through 3 are, and 2 in particular has been sung, its, its, its praises have been sung to high heaven and back, uh, by a certain friend of mine. A certain friend of mine who might actually be f stopping streaming, I think, tomorrow. Like, I, I think he's made it very clear that tomorrow is going to be his, his final stream before he just stops, <laughs> for some reason. I mean, it's, it's, it's his choice. It's, I respect it. But, uh, this is my send-off to him, if that is indeed the case.
and then the next stream of this, we get to do the Xeno Saga music, all three songs of it. <laughs> Supposedly Square Enix is saying they're going to focus less on the mid-level titles and more on the AAA titles, which sounds like another Square Enix move from Square Enix. I don't think that means they're going to be abandoning the middle titles. I think that means we might see more outsourcing of them. But it means we'll be, uh, they'll probably be focusing more on like the next big thing. I can't tell what Square Enix is, uh, you know, what they're planning, what they're thinking at any given time. Sometimes it sucks, sometimes it really sucks. And sometimes it's alright. But this, like, this game isn't Square Enix. Indie Zero made this game.
nice, 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 nice. It's a good thing I stopped, uh... Yeah, stop Mega Man when I did. I'm actually running later than I thought I would. And, and that always happens, though, with this. I always think, like, oh, it's only 12 songs. It'll only take me 30 minutes. It's like, no. It takes me way longer than that. The next two packs are Xenosaga, which is th only three songs, and then I think the Mana Pack Volume 3, which is six. So this is 12 songs, this stream, and the next one's gonna be only nine. So it'll be slightly shorter. And then the last two stream, the last stream, uh, I don't know how many songs are in, well, we know how many songs are going to be in them total. I have to look, but we don't know what they're, they're going to be. The last two packs are listed as question marks. So it, it, I think it's only going to be revealed when it actually gets released. get a double S. I have to redo that one. So I'll always one now that I'm not going to get the double S or a triple S on. I'll revisit if I have time. Otherwise, I'll just do it off stream. I like how they have the four, two, two of the same version, two of the same like type of song, and then the final battle for three. Music definitely sounds more intense than twos. They were like, oh, we finally figured out how to do SNES music. Which is not true. Just went for a different style.
Oh, man. Another one where I didn't get the double S. That kind of sucks, man. I feel, like, bad that I'm not doing that, because that's, like, the goal. I feel like I haven't cleared the song if I'm not getting that. There's just too many, too many flicks. Alright, next one. Next victim. Same exact background. Well, actually, no, it's a little different. The color's different. Same enemies. Barely missed triple S. Not double S though. It's good enough. I'm fine with just double S on everything. Two songs left. Final confrontation and that one song from the other game.
Barely pulled off double S on that one. Thought that one would be another fail. Another S rank for sure. Barely pulled off double S on that. <laughs> Last one, ever, ever higher. Reuniverse. No idea what that is. Me neither. Pretty good. It's a good song. No idea what, what it's from and what the context is, but it's a pretty good song. There's none that aren't cleared, and it's just these two that came down tonight that I don't have an S rank on, so I just have to fix those. Uh, we can give it a shot. We can give it another shot right now. See if that one. Uh, see if we can get it through. But otherwise, I'm gonna fin I'm gonna stop. If I don't get this this try, then I'm probably not gonna try the other one again. I'll just do them off stream.
knows? There we go. Still kind of tight, though. As long as I get 8.5 or higher, I'm happy. Alright, that just leaves this one. Pretty good song to go out on too if this is the last one again i'm just gonna do one take at this if i don't get it i'll just do it off stream because it's 3 45 and i'd like to end a few minutes early well early i mean a few minutes before four as opposed to how far i've been usually going lately I'm done. I'm done. I missed it by literally 0.3%. I'm done for the night. I'll just get it later. I don't have it in me to do it again. <laughs> it's fine. Next stream it'll be it'll be regular. Also, if you want, if you don't believe me that I haven't done all songs on difficulty. No, that's not it. So this is ultimate difficulty. You could tell that the only song I haven't cleared with an S, S double S or higher is this one. If I switch this to Supreme, you could see all the Supreme songs are under double dash at the top, which means that I just haven't cleared them. So the fact that all, there's no double dash here means I've cleared every single song on Ultimate. This is the only one that needs to be double S, triple S. So uh, at some point, I'll do it before the next stream. It's fine. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not broken up over it. I'll, I did Last time, I, there were two songs that I left with only an S rank, but by the next stream, I'll do double S for all of them. So yeah, that's, uh, that's another Theater Rhythm stream in the bag. Uh, next one will be six weeks from today, which will be mid-September, I believe? Three weeks from today was the next pack will come out. That's the 30th, and then three weeks from that will be the 20th. So yeah, the 20th of September will be the next stream, which will be uh, Xenogears pack with three songs and Mana pack three 
with six songs. And then the final stream will be October 30th or November 1st. It'll be November 1st, technically. And uh, that will be the two mystery packs with the final bit of songs in it. And that'll close out this game after almost, well, not a year, but like nine months of streaming it. I have been enjoying this game immensely, and I absolutely recommend it to anyone who's interested. Even if you just buy the basic game for 50 bucks, still well worth it. You get like 300-something songs. And if you buy all the DLC, you get uh, five, I think it's 502 or it's 504 when it's going to be done. Right now we're at uh, how many? 497. So no, it's going to be more than that. It's going to be 512 maybe. I might have forgotten the, the middle digit there. Because next next one we're getting 9. That's going to put us at 506. And then I guess the last two are going to put us at... Oh, it's it. I don't know. We'll have to see. I know it's it's over... Well, it's obviously going to be over 500 songs. But yeah. A rhythm game with over 500 songs for 100 bucks is, is actually really good. Indie Zero knows how to give you a lot of value here. But yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, early hopefully, with a decently length Mega Man Star Force 2 stream. And then on Thursday, uh, I'll be here with again, another Final Fantasy 14 stream. We'll be doing the new... Um, I don't know what the event's called, but it, it gives you it gives you a Sentai costume for doing it. And I'm like, oh, I got to do that like immediately. <laughs> so that'll be, uh, that'll be then. Uh, we have a couple people here, so I'm going to raid someone. If you want to watch more streams, you could stick around. Uh, say hi to someone. I don't know who yet. Uh, again, not having the team around anymore really kind of sours it. But, hey, uh... Toughzilla's playing Valorant. Let's give them a raid. It's been a while. So yeah, stick around. Say hi to Toughzilla. Be nice. And have a great evening. Otherwise, thank you again for coming. I always appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. As always, I love you all. Thank you so much for coming by. Let's give it one moment for the raid to go through. And uh, I will say to you good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs>